But this is what you do to get the millions of views. I wouldn't know. Your <laughs> acting skills, I think they're just atrocious at the moment. The energy. Oh, and I'm like, hmm, that's pretty good. Well, well, well. If it isn't the great I've ruined it. So again. Well, 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 if it isn't the great Corporal Colin from Cape Canaveral gracing me with your presence. Just finished at the gym, had a really good session actually. I've been struggling. You know what? Here's what to expect today. Yeah, I already did that bit, so let's just carry on. I actually had a really good session. And I've been struggling a lot with this um, idea that I don't, like I'm not going to the gym to try and get big. I'm really just going because one, I like how it like, kicks off the day, I like how I feel after. Two, it's nice to get out of the house. And three, um, is there a third? That's right, so that I can eat crap that I want to. Great, but I often find myself like finishing early or giving up on something just because I have that mindset of like, oh, well, you know, at least I made it here. That's bad. like, it, there's a part of me that thinks, oh, that's okay. Like, that's just the way you're wired. And then there's another part of me that's like, you shouldn't be doing that, should you? You should actually be pushing yourself Whatever you're going to do, you push yourself. Because I do live, I try to live by this, <laughs> do, I do live, I try to live by this idea that whatever you do, you do it at 100%. So like if I'm working, I'm working at 100%. If I'm gaming, I'm gaming at 100%, even though I probably look like a player who's gaming at 2% just with how bad I am. If I'm hanging out with Shay and Rugi, 100% there, no phone, nothing. But like I don't have that same passion, energy for the gym, and I need to get that. We were going to go fly the drone at, the, at this waterfall that's like two hours away today, but the rain is just not letting up and I can't obviously fly in the rain, so I guess we won't be doing that today. But it does, like now that I'm not employed and stuck at a desk, I'm still stuck in the, I, I still find myself stuck in this mindset that I should be at my desk for those eight hours. Like at this point, I'm actually free. I could do whatever. I could have left, like if the weather was good, I could have left when I woke up at five, you know, after taking the dogs out and gone straight to this place, get the shot and be back by what, 10 o'clock this morning? But my mind is still stuck on this idea that, no, I can't do that because I need to be at my desk at a certain period. I saw this really interesting video yesterday. It was a, I think the girl is advocating for a four day work week. And she's talking with a panel of people who are sharing their thoughts on what they think should or shouldn't happen with a four day work week. And it was a, I think it would be Gen Z versus a millennial or a baby boomer. Yeah, baby boomer. And the baby boomer was explaining, like, what, are, what, what am I going to do with that fifth day if I'm not working? Like, do I then just decide that I'm going to work and put in more effort, you know, and make myself look better as I move forward for that promotion? And the mindset, and it was exactly the same with the lady I did work at, which was part of the reason I quit when I did at my work, this mindset that your life should revolve around your work. And it's just, it's cr like, based on my life experience, it's, that's crazy to me that you live to work. Like that, that work you do is your sense of being. Well, I don't think it's that actually, because I love what I do right now. And let's say this lady loves what she does at her job. So I don't think it's that actually. I think it's this sense of 
devotion to the company, the sense of loyalty that I'm not saying I should, that someone's thinking I should kill myself for this company, but more like I have a responsibility. They've done me the honor of employing me. And so now I have to do everything I can to provide for that company. Yeah. Maybe that's it. But I just, it's like scorched onto my eardrums now of this lady that I used to work with saying, we have a load of work coming down the pipeline. Uh, I just want to know that you're going to have my back. What, is, what does that mean? Well, long, we, long nights, long weekends, we're going to have to put in the work. They'll f what? Like, first thing is, forget everything else. What you're asking of me is that I sacrifice the three or four hours in the evening I get with my son and my time with him on weekends. Is that, that, that acceptable to you? No family, no kids from her end. So yeah, that's acceptable to her. She's like, that's, that's just what needs to be done. And then I'm like, bro, you and I are project managers. This is what we do. We find risks and we mitigate those risks. Just working more hours is not a way to mitigate those risks. And then she turned around and said, you just have a bad work ethic. I'm like, get bugger off. Little does she know how much effort in I was putting outside of work in what I do here. All right, let's go in and see Rookies. Darling? Shay? Can you, can you redo your, one of your lines, please? Yeah. Thank you. Sounds like you're uh, reading. I, th I just think we have to work on your, your <laughs> acting skills. I think they're just atrocious at the moment. The energy. How'd it go putting him down? I just finished. You were in there for a long time, weren't you? Yeah. Seemed like it. Okay. Um, Madam? Yes, uh, if you can just say... If that worked with the numbing cream, you should try it without the map. Uh, have you tried it without the map before? Have you tried it without the map before? Have you tried it without the map before? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, I'll say something. Jinkies, it's been two hours. All right, then you follow up. Jinkies, it's been two hours. Have you tried it without the map before? Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, we'll find out. I'll have a look at this. And if it's bad, I'll bring you back in. And you'll be reprimanded for poor performance. Uh, as soon as we don't have sex, let's take a river out to those puddles before they dry up. Before they dry up? Yeah, okay. Well, he'll be up in about, what, 10 minutes? So, <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna finish editing this. I need, I need this clip and then, yeah. <laughs> Don't know if I'm talking to you myself or this. I've had this, I'm working on the thumbnail right now. I actually quite enjoy doing this. Otherwise I would just straight hand it off. Maybe it's not something I do every day, but I, so at the beginning of the video, I'm kind of like racing against the Amazon van to get back to the house. And so I'm thinking I'd do a shot where I'm racing against the Amazon van. So this is what I currently have. So that one is an actual image from Google and then just AI around it. And so I'm thinking that I'll go and get in my car, take a shot from a similar angle and then that sits behind me. That's what I'm thinking. So I think let's go and um, I think, I think, I think. Let's go and try it. See what we get, mister. So I need that, I need my phone. I'm gonna take a little selfie stick. Just in case just in case I need to put something up my bum. 
Oh man. Wow, it's so quirky. Alright. My key. Fuzzy car. I need to connect to the app. Oh my gosh. Too much going on. Agree. Oh, I bought a new pair of Crocs the other day. It's time to retire these old ones. These, these Crocs have done some work, but I have a new pair that I need to fit properly. So I need to stick them in the dishwasher, the dryer, the tumble dryer. Okay. Give me a sec. Hold on, pop it. So what I'm filming on right now, I know this seems ridiculous to say, but this is not the camera that I normally use in the mornings, like when I film in the car. So uh, ask app not to track because this is the rig that it normally sits on. It sits in here, but it's annoying. I want a suction cup that sits on the screen here or the window or something that can then film me. Because this is trash. Let me put you there. See what this looks like. Join. Should probably put the car in park, shouldn't I? All right then. Oh, I should really have the leaf blower blowing on me, shouldn't I? That would really add to the effect. Like if I, if I shoot from... Oh man. Let me see what this looks like. So if I go from here, no, it needs to be further out. And I think I need, oh gosh. Yeah, I think this could work actually. This could be the Jimmy. If I could, I need to change the settings on here. Change it from auto to manual. Let's see what I look like doing this stupid face. Yeah, I think I look stupid enough for that one. Let me go and get the leaf blower set up. I don't know what's happened here. Um, I'm just going to sit you outside over here. Because with the leaf blower, you're not going to be able to hear anything. And then maybe you can just watch what's going on if you want to. So maybe like here. It's rather quite wide, isn't it? Oh well. At least you can see what's going on. I'm leaving the mic here now. Sorry.
I guess you can actually hang out with me for a second until I manage to get this lined up in the right position. So it needs to be close enough, but also balancing off of something. I try a ladder. I can't have a ladder too close to the shot. All right, pop it. This is a bit extra, isn't it? But this is what you do to get the millions of views, you know? This is what it takes. I wouldn't know, by the way. All right, wish me luck. I'm hoping one of those will work. Otherwise, I'm back out here. Let's go and see. Oh, dude, hair's looking fire. I do that. All right, let's let's get this into business. What am I doing? I'm so sorry, you're cockeyed. It's gonna make a a joke about having a cock in my eye but I couldn't think of one so you just get to hear that I was thinking about having a cock in my eye I don't know why I'm shocked that's exactly where I was going with it hi Judah what do you need Judah Do you need to go out? Do you need to go out? Of course you do. Okay, one second, Duda. Let me take you out. All right, I'll be right back and we'll edit this. I was just checking my TikTok while I went to the toilet after taking the dogs in. Didn't need to add that bit, did I? Um, and one of the comments is, hang on, let me just airdrop these. One of the comments is, so sorry, so the video, I ended up um, sleeping on the mat for, well, meditating, I guess, for like two hours. And the comment is, I think you need to sacrifice a day and just lay there without an alarm and see what happens after, for like five hours. That would be a massive waste of time. I, I must be the most well-rested MFer in the world after that. Okay, I would. <laughs> I have this thumbnail to finish, and I was all like just going through my head just then. I sat in silence, was me trying to work out do I stop or keep the camera going while I record the comment, while I reply to these few comments. And I've ended up just explaining, and now you've had to sit through all of that, and I'm still just going to reply to the comments. But you know what? I will do a screen recording, so let me stop and start. Okay, now videos are synced up very nicely. I'm early, what the hell? Early to what? Hello. Early. I'm Oliver. 
Hello, Early. I'd be the most well rested sausage in the world. Woke. I was going to, I was going to, oh. Nice joint, bro. Hi, dude. Uh, what you doing? This, this, I love this, but I also hate this. When you come over and you just pour at me for attention. I love it and I hate it. You want to come and lie down by my feet? <gasps> what if I turned the under my desk into a really nice pet area. Would you like that? Dude, you would go nuts for that, wouldn't you? Uh, nice joint, bro. First, we'll give you a dub for being first, bro. Okay. Are you, are you breathing on me? Okay, let's get the, let's get the thumbnail made, dude. I know, I know, I know. You're chilling. What are you breathing at me for? Can you come here you, like, so I can use my left hand? Dude, come round. Come round here. I'll pet you over here. <laughs> Dude, come to the other side. Come round here. Come round. Do you want something? What do you want? Do you want something? Can I get you something? Do you want something? What can I help you with? Nothing? Beautiful girl, so fluffy. Oh yeah. Okay, all right, dude, I've got to do this because it doesn't seem like you want anything. Next time I'm going to need requirements, a deadline, everything if you're going to want to commission some work from me, okay? Keep you get tickles. <laughs> what a weirdo. Uh, oh, I'll share my screen, sorry. Stop and start. There we go. Recording that bad boy of a screen. Um, let's throw these on here. Hi, Duda. Actually, you know what? Let's see which one we like first. Good girl. I kind of like that. Is the perspective right? Um, maybe that one is the first, was it the first one? Yeah, it was the first one or this one, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> oh, darn it. Um, I guess I will need to change some light, the exposure. We're going to bring down overall, I guess. Yeah, because we've got a lot of clipping at the end. It's mostly in the clouds. So I'm looking up here, this is the clipping. So this is where you have the whites. So the way this works is you have blacks, uh, shadows, midtones, highs or highlights, and then whites. And so anything that's like spiked well at the end or anything that's well up in one of these places, is that right? Anything that's well up? I don't know if that part of what I'm saying is right, but the rest of it was right. But like you don't want to bring up blacks too far. I actually like, I quite like those adjustments. The color, let's get some more in the vibrance, the saturation. Dude, actually kind of sweet. Um, let's see how that looks for now. We can always go back and make more changes. 
let's forget about you. I think here we... That's not what we want. I'm going to select the whole of me and this car. And then I'll probably get rid of what we can see through the car because we want the other side. We want the image that we have below to show through the windows. Need to add this in here. Some slight changes, darling. Tire in. Oh, I hate these kind of finicky things. And get you out of here. Might have to use a brush in there. Which is super annoying. Probably, probably just like too much attention there. Oh, a new one of those creative challenges came through on TikTok. So once we're done with this, I'll take a look at it because we'll, it seemed to be pretty decent. And we'll film that in the next day or two. I think the campaign goes live in four days. So we'll have a quick film of that. All right, let's see what this looks like. The angle is off, isn't it? But if I do that, yeah, the perspective is not decent. Um. What if the prime van is actually further back? So let's say the neighborhood and the van, we move back here like this, and then we refill in this area. Here, let's go auto generate, generate fill. Cancel, because I feel like I should be closer. So make me a bit bigger, and then there maybe? I don't know, honestly, I think this is kind of a funny thumbnail, so if it, um, even if it doesn't look perfect, I think I'll go with it, because it's, it's, it's fun. Oh, actually looks kind of decent. Well, <laughs> you're probably looking at it and like, dude, that is bad. And I'm like, mm, that's pretty good. It looks, I don't know, I need to, I do need to smooth out these edges, don't I? They look very shoddy. Like, especially around here. Round you out over here. And then the back of my car, I think, should have some motion blur to it. So if I raise that and then brush, we're going to take out 
Um, if we take out me. No, let's just add a bit of motion blur to the outside of the car, I'm thinking. So if I go like this, maybe not so much here. And then nothing here. And then let's just see what this looks like. Uh, filter. Blur. Motion blur. And then the text is up here. Race me. Oh, wait. I feel like I just had a thought about what do I if I use a Vin Diesel quote. Like, it might be kind of funny. I don't know if I can be bothered. But it might be funny if I had Vin Diesel, like, hanging out the window of the Prime van. I don't think people would really notice it in the thumbnail, as small as they are. But it, I feel like that would be funny. All right, we've got Race Me. Give that a stroke. It's not big enough, is it? There's a lot going on in that shot. Does the prime van need a bit of, I feel like it does, some blur. Tiny bit. I don't, my car doesn't really stand out enough, does it? Maybe it stands out enough. Let me see what this looks like if I make it bigger. Don't like it. Okay, that's kind of a funny thumb. Nail. <laughs> thumb. Wow, what a funny looking thumb. <laughs> hmm. Thumb, save, save, export. Save for web legacy, save. You're just gonna be saved as one, okay? Good job. Save. Okay, I'll, let me save it again after I just saved it. I was looking at Jake Carlini and Eric for... I had the idea, this idea first, but I was looking at how they... <laughs> Don't worry, I didn't steal it. But I got this idea. I, I was looking at what kind of angles that they would use to then look for a van and like what kind of slight edits I might need to make. Okay, at the uh, thumbnail -y. Wrong spot, bruv. 19. Thumb, one. Upload. Upload. What happened in this video? I... Bro, that school bus is... Raced the Amazon driver. Tried some free samples. Later, but as far as 
looked for some YouTube hacks. Um, started the day off with a race against the Amazon driver to make sure he didn't wake up the baby, the sleeping baby. Toddler that uh, I also tried some free samples my wife got. Then planned out a corker of a TikTok. Leave that there. Uh, unlisted note, let's change it to public. Save. Bazinga. Oh, I'll stop the screen recording. That was sweet, wasn't it? Okay, this. Um, that wasn't what I was looking for. I was looking for this. It doesn't say in here anything about sharing this information, but I don't think I can share too much about it. I just, I don't know what would happen. So I'll explain a little bit about it. It seems like it's a, something to do with, sorry, not that it seems, I'm trying to explain it differently. You're playing the role of someone who buys and sells houses. It's for an app. And the requirements actually look pretty decent. So pretend to be a real estate agent or a comedic take. Um, you, if you want to, you can dress up. Uh, you can recreate the like selling sunset, selling the OC, some of those shows. So like, I forget the name of those two twins. Shay, what are the name of those two? Twins in Hollywood that sell houses? Oh, that's Selling Sunset, isn't it? Is that show called Selling Sunset? Yeah. Uh, you just have to mention the game. They would like some gameplay in it. And a couple of hashtags. This is, this is, whoever wrote this, whoever's behind this, has the right idea of how to work with creators or influencers. It blows my mind that actually some creators or influencers would prefer to have everything planned out from the brand. Like the brand say, this is what we want to do. This is the type of video, go and create that. I feel like the massive part of our role, and to me the most fun part of our role, is coming up with the ideas. But then again, I guess we've kind of established that I love the whole process and not every creator or influencer actually loves the process. Um, so, yeah. But I think, that's, I think that's top notch. You give complete freedom. You're not pushing people to download or go play this game. You're allowing the creator to do what they want and realizing that actually the exposure of the name and seeing how someone else play it should be enough to get them to download it. So a little bit of research to do on that, but I think Rugi just woke up. So we're gonna go and play in the rain and mud. Dab, dab in the mud. I've seen a bit. This area was full of water. Uh, well, I guess that's that was the big puddle earlier that you sent. Oh, it's, it's all dried up already. Rugi, you want to run through it? 
I um, I actually, I should have worn wellies, but I wore Crocs as I kind of like a marketing thing for my socks. White socks with mud obviously never goes well. So, oh, I should have changed my t-shirt or at least worn something because I'm gonna run through. That's nah, okay, I'll, I'll go sport mode. And we'll see if that helps. I picked, I did pick one of my socks that the elastic is pulled out of from the um, Velcro football video. Rugi, I'm gonna push you. Wait, Daddy. Film us, please. It doesn't have to be anything special, just like on us. Rugi, I wanna get a cool shot of you at the front. I need to get another set of, what is going on here? Did you break this? Uh, lights, like waterproof lights to go on the bottom. Maybe, I wonder if now at his age he'll like that and find it cool. I was talking to you. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I feel uh, probably... I don't know. He doesn't get very excited about things. Yeah, he's like you or I, isn't he? Yeah. Alright, you ready, Rooks? Get the video. Hold on to your steering wheel. Hey, hold on to your steering wheel. There you go. Are you ready, Rooks? Ready? I can't believe how much it's dried up already. That's wild. Ready? Yeah, from the video you sent me? It's a lot. Ready, Rooks? It's gonna splash. Oh, no! You wanna go again? Ready? Ready? Bring it! Yeah? Okay. Hold this. Chop. Hold on to it tight. Hold on tight, Rooks. I think he wants to get out and play in it. You want to get out yourself? I think my kicking yeah. has gotten him way Watch out, Will. Hi. We go crazy. And again. That was fun. Um, I don't really like, I like filming sections of it for this, but I like the idea of being present in the moment. And that doesn't come from me just being like, I want to be present in the moment. That actually comes from the style of content that I used to make, where anywhere that Shay and I would go, I would be like, I'd try and think of a video idea to make from it. And that was when I was back making photo and video posts. And so I always had a camera and I was always thinking about what I was shooting and never really fully present. But now, like doing that didn't really shoot very much. We were out for about an hour, which today, by the way, has just flown by. It's been nuts. It, I spent like an hour out of nowhere this morning helping the guy get the automation set up in terms of like... Um, connecting stuff, like giving him permissions and making sure all those things were connected. Um, and then <laughs> what was meant to be a day of me driving four hours there and back to go and fly my drone turned into a day of just like solid work. For the TikTok, the, um, the numbing my back to go on the needle mat, I put in like another three or four hours just touching up some more edits on that. Didn't expect that. I expected to kind of just look at it and be like, good. <laughs> and then um, making that YouTube thumbnail and then like small bits just in between. 
just took up so much of the day. But tomorrow, uh, we're going to plan out this, um, the real estate thing that I mentioned earlier. And that goes live four days from now. So what is that? That's the, I don't know exact timing. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Might go live Sunday afternoon, like early afternoon. We'll see. Um, but I think we'll plan. It's Friday tomorrow, isn't it? Is it Friday tomorrow? It is. So we might have to plan and shoot that tomorrow. Busy day. So in that case, I really want to get back using my daily planner. If I just, I'll show it to you. So I made it, shows how long it's been. Uh, last one I did was 4.16. I haven't done it for like six months. But this is what it looks like. And you can see that's my old brand on there. So I have to change it up. But I should start doing this before I leave my desk. There's something else I realize I should be doing every night before I leave my desk. I copy over the footage every time and then I get ready to film, sorry, to edit the next morning. And then I end up doing the thumbnail the same day. No, that was it. I should, I should spend the time now to plan out tomorrow. So. Should we do that? Should we do that, bud? Let's duplicate. Now, where did you go? I did just duplicate you, didn't I? I don't, I don't know where I just went. Okay, all right, well, let's try again, shall we? Oh gosh. Select this one, not that one, that one. Options, duplicate. Okay, there you are, so it just didn't work last time. Um. I should probably share my screen, shouldn't I? So, 10% oh, battery, do you think we'll make it? Yeah, we're gonna make it. I start that and then stop and start this. Yes. Um, all right, let's edit, drawing. It's very interesting how TikTok, in 10 months, I feel like I haven't grown that much in 10 months actually. That's 10 months, six months. We've gone up by 60 something thousand. YouTube, we started over. That will be a good metric to follow actually. Um, I guess we can just get rid of all of this, can't we? Oh man, this is the first time I've done this, um, my, a daily plan since I finished work. So I always had to dot in what I was doing for work, like the times that I had meetings and stuff and I block out time for work. I know that's like the wrong way around, but <laughs> okay. Uh, so TikTok number of followers we are currently at 543.9. Instagram, I, I don't really know what's happening there at the moment and YouTube we're on 17. What are my priorities for tomorrow? My top priority is going to be things that have to be done. Uh, I guess it's going to be edit YouTube, um, thumb, YouTube, I'll give, I'll give YouTube an old thumb, you know, and then the final one is going to be plan uh, real estate. I really want to improve my handwriting too. I had so much, like, I also wanted to just do something that was fun today. Still haven't opened the MetaQuest 3. And so if I can 
we should have time for that tomorrow, shouldn't we? Because I don't have anything else particularly pressing. So at least plan the real estate vid and then we can get moving on that. So date tomorrow is going to be 1027. 23. 5 a.m. is going to be the Degs. Take the dogs out. Degs and then I should use different colors. Degs slash edit YouTube. That normally actually has been taking me about an hour. So edit YT and then we're going to have gym until probably until eight. And then eight to eight thirty is going to be Bracky, and then we move into thumb YouTube. I'm going to give myself an hour for that, and then I'll probably actually I imagine this is going to be this time here will get consumed. Like somewhere in there, there's going to be an extra bit of time. So then 10 o'clock, we start, we plan real estate. And I imagine we do that for like two hours. Duplicate. At least two hours. And then maybe we can get into shooting real estate. And that, I really don't know what the plan is, but I reckon that's going to take us a few hours. So I'll duplicate you once. And I'll duplicate you again. And then we come to three. Uh, we'll call it edit real estate. Isn't it mental how now there's no time for the Matter quest. Um, tomorrow's priority, so like on Saturday, if I can get some time, it'll be to edit real estate. And then what are some of my thoughts? I think those are for me to enter in during the day unless I have some for right now. So let's start doing this every day. A research item. I would like to have something in there, but I don't think... Um. I have other priorities before researching because it's not going to be time. So N A. And then when I finished this tomorrow, as I go to start the next planner, I'll circle if I'm happy or not. And then I can figure out what did I fail at? Like, what did I not do well? And I can improve on that tomorrow. So it might be something as simple as I lost concentration. I didn't lock my phone away. I got, got, got distracted by my phone. Summit or summer out like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know something I did while I was on the treadmill today? Actually, I didn't do it on the treadmill. I did it as I was getting ready for the shower at the gym. I wrote down a few notes on my goals, like just the, the goals that I have in my head and then got them on paper. So let's go like just for this video, let's go through those tomorrow. And maybe that's something that we can do together. Like you can just think the way I think and set your goals aside too. All right.
short video today. I'm sorry I didn't bring you along for too much of it. Let's get more in tomorrow. I guess we'll be doing a lot of planning tomorrow, so let's do that. But the thumbnail, I'm pretty pleased with how that turned out, actually, for getting that done in, what, 30 minutes? Quite pleased with that. Still zero views, but never mind. Um, I'll also take some time, too, to look over the... I mentioned that if I were to mention a brand in a video, does that increase my RPM, like how much I earn per thousand views? Um, so I'll look at some of the metrics for a video where I had the Sony speaker in it. Let's see. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um, see you tomorrow. No dab today. Okay. We can't. <coughs> see ya.